global warming, acid rain, toxic waste. Some of the results of past actions are requiring current attention. As we try to move beyond the mistakes of yesterday, we're finding we need today's most creative approaches. All indications are that human wellness is directly and indirectly related to the wellness of everything else. Where we work, live and play, and what we eat, drink, breathe, and even think and feel, all become part of the soup to sustain life. Problems arise, however, when one or more of these ingredients is bad and doesn't set well. Our system becomes toxic, ill, out of balance. Even our very cells start to lose their energy and integrity, or reverse polarity. Though we cannot control every aspect of our environments, some experts believe we can work to maintain the cellular strength and electrical energy that help to naturally ward off illness-causing pathogens and cell-destroying sicknesses. We start by understanding that all of life is electric and that every cell in our body is the equivalent of a battery. And so the batteries can be regular, they could be supercharged, or they could actually be run down. And what we want to do for plants, animals, and humans is to find a way to keep that charge up in the battery so that the functions of the whole body, of the whole plant, of the animal, is working at its maximum. William Jackson's interest in healthy soil and safe products began as a child raised in a small farm community of Idaho, where he had watched his grandfather's two horses plow a field that would now require a huge tractor. I was fortunate to be introduced to agriculture early in my life. My grandparents were uh, farming. They had livestock. They owned a dairy. And in working with them and watching them, I understood what was happening, but I also was observing change from the stress and the toxicity that was being added to farming. Diseases were beginning to show up. Today, Jackson's company, Environmental Care and Share Incorporated, exists to formulate and manufacture products that work together synergistically to solve old problems without creating new ones. My intention was to say, is there a way that I could do anything to preserve how things were created originally and how they functioned? Lynn Devaney, Environmental Care and Share's Vice President, had her interest in the environment heightened when her daughter taught school in the farming area of California's Central Valley, where incidences of attention deficit disorder and other similar disorders were higher for the children of farm workers than for other children. Both Jackson and Devaney believe many of the problems are being caused by the overuse of inorganic chemical salt fertilizers, pesticides and herbicides, hormones and antibiotics. Besides the attention deficit disorder, these chemicals also cause uh, dysfunction in immune system, so many of the children are absent from, absent from school a lot more than kids that do not come from the farming communities. And of course the ADD in itself has a variety of sub-disorders that are very prevalent in, in children from farm communities. But, Devaney says, it's not because the children are being directly exposed to these harmful chemicals. The parents of these, of these children are the one that actually brought this on down genetically because most of these kids themselves have not actually been out in the farms. And these are some of the disorders that they're looking at now are not the acute disorders, but the chronic disorders of over time small amounts of chemicals coming through the human genetic chain. Jackson and Devaney became determined to help renew the soil, improve crop production, and help remove harmful chemicals from the human food chain. We understand that all life is electric, and that's beautiful, because a healthy plant isn't even available to a predator bug. Keep in mind that the bug's electric field is different than a healthy plant. They couldn't land on it. It would be like you or me grabbing an electric fence and just letting it shake us. But if this plant has become sick, 
with application of too much chemical or whatever, then the bug's assignment, predator bug, is to come in and destroy that plant. Take it clear out of the food chain. Bugs like to eat sick plants. That's their assignment. Collectively, environmental care and share products are meant to give people options. We too often find problems. We find arguments with companies that are producing hazardous and toxic chemicals, and we tell people to make a change. We tell them to stop using this and to, to, to find alternatives and to do something different. But if they don't have something from which they can choose, they can't make changes, even though they would be beneficial for their own lives, their families' lives, and for the environment in general. Cleaning and disinfecting has long been an environmental problem for several reasons, including the wide range of substances to be cleaned and contaminants to be dealt with, as well as the lack of any effective, cost-friendly products to meet organic or even safe product standards. However, maintaining his all-life-is-electric approach, Dr. Jackson's research has turned up some revolutionary findings. My conclusion was that I could electrically charge water and do it without toxicity and do it without causing more stress on any of life. What's happening is you molecularly, electrically separate that bond that holds molecules of dirt and grease together and when that is separated it's easy to rinse or wipe off. We know that we can cause a lot of positive chain by change by working with the food chain and so we have done agriculture and livestock but now we realize that the lives are at home they're with the families and that we take in more chemical toxicity through skin and through respiration than we do through eating so that we need to stop the use of chemicals in people's yards and gardens it comes in on the pets it comes in on on little infant skin and if you don't want it in your children and you don't want it on your pet you better read what's on the back of that label because they are getting poisoned slowly but surely and we're trying to give people options now that they can make those changes at home as you complete the solving of one problem many times an awareness develops of the next problem for example we started with agriculture then we moved to livestock then we moved to humans now we have moved into cleaning there are more to work on one problem would just be the educating people that they have options they don't have to have chemical toxicity or be under stress we take in over one gallon of toxic and hazardous chemicals every single year and most of us having no idea that we're doing it we're getting it in our lawn foods we're getting it in our our cleaning products we are we're constantly being bombarded with products that are supposed to be very very effective and efficient in keeping our lives safe by being antibiotic but by being antibiotic, we are also killing many, many more, three times at least, more positive and beneficial microbes than we are killing the hazardous ones. If we could just consider the fact that the primary way of disinfecting anything is by cleaning it effectively first, removing the substrate on which pathogens could live, then the most of the problem of cleaning and sanitizing would automatically be taken care of without hazardous and toxic chemicals. 60,000 children a year dying of poisoning. 300,000 people being made ill by poisoning, totally and completely not knowing that that's what's happening to them. That's unacceptable. Environmental Care and Share is continuing to explore new environmental frontiers where it can solve old problems without creating new ones. Thanks for being with us today. Maybe you were able to affirm some of your own ideas and ambitions. Be sure to join us next time to hear more about the people and ideas helping to shape the future. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. To obtain a copy of one of Dr. Jackson's books or for more information on the complete line of products from Environmental Care and Share, log on to ecns.net.